Hello, white people. Did you guys know that refrigeration hasn't actually been around that long? I've come across newspapers from the 60s trying to convince people to buy refrigerators. Yeah, so it's not really that old of a technology. And uh, there's people alive who've, who, were, who existed before refrigeration. And if you really think about it, you're like, wow, how in the world did they exist? Everything I do needs, or you know, all the food, I need it to be refrigerated. Well, I'm not really one much, much for canning. Canning is just such a pain in the ass. You know, you get one pot and you can only put a few jars in there at a time and then you have to let them boil f until they seal. And it's just a big mess and it's just, it's so time consuming. It's a lot easier to go out and buy canned food. But by the same token, there's certain foods that you, if you buy them dehydrated like this, then you're going to pay, a, you know, an arm, leg, and a foot. So what I did was I bought a bunch of, uh, lemons and limes that were on sale and I put them in my KitchenAid and I sliced them up really thin and then put them in the food dehydrator and dehydrated them. But if you don't have a food dehydrator, the best way to dehydrate your stuff is actually in the refrigerator. And if you live in a damp area where I live, damp, not dank, damp, uh, you can store your stuff in the refrigerator and it'll keep it dry. I think if you stick it in the freezer, that'll keep it dry too, but I don't know if it's going to add some sort of a smell to it, you know, because refrigerators, I don't know. My dried stuff doesn't seem to have a smell to it. And I fell on this because I'm such a dingbat. You know when you uh, put, you cut stuff up and you stick it on a plate and you go, oh, I'm going to use that, and then it ends up at the back of the refrigerator, and a couple months later you're like, uh-oh. It's either covered in mold or it's all dried out. So that's how I figured out that the refrigerator dries everything out. And, you know, freezer burn, that just means the moisture is uh, evaporated off of uh, whatever the item is in the refrigerator or in the freezer. So anyway, just another way to preserve food and to get ahead of, you know, the man trying to kill us off. Anyway, so with uh, the lemon slices, you know, you need to have vitamin C because the truck's delivering food to us every day. This is strawberries that I dehydrated. This was actually two packages of strawberries. It's not that much. Um, the food trucks are going to stop one day, whether we have some sort of a natural disaster. Uh, the economy is in bad shape, and just get prepared while you can. Uh, the cost of toilet paper just went up again, so we are definitely living in inflation right now it's the inflation is incredibly high we are in weimar germany you guys the system is just on the verge of crashing actually i'm surprised it didn't crash a couple of years ago i was ready a couple of years ago <laughs> all right everyone thank you so much for listening thank you so much for your support if you want to support me um i've got uh, the description in my about page on, uh, on YouTube here, or you can email me and I can send you a link. Thank you so much. Hope you're all having a great day. Look forward to your comments below.